Hey grade sevens, we're gonna talk about addition of integers. It's about what we've been talking about for the last couple lessons. Let's say we've got this example, positive three plus negative two. We know two different ways we can show this and I'm gonna show both. One is using algebra tiles and one would be using a number line. So the first step is to draw this first integer. I've got positive three, so I drew three, one, two, three, positive tiles. The next step is to draw my negative two. I've drawn my negative two below uh, to show the separate integer, and I've added them together. So I've got this group, there's three positives and two negatives, three positives, two negatives. Now I've got my tiles set up. Now I've got to think, um, what would this equal? If I need to write my equation for this, what would it equal? I think about it. Let's say I add one thing, and then I take it away. I add one, I take it away, and I add one, what would I have left? Think about it as pencils. I add one pencil, I take it away. I add a pencil, I take it away. I add a pencil, how many pencils do I have? Just one. Um, if we think about it, two opposite integers, they just equal zero, and what's left over? It's just one positive, so the answer would be positive one. That's how you could use tiles to solve a question like this. Um, let's look at it using a number line instead. All right, so I've drawn my number line. And one quick way that you can decide how to draw your number line is just to quickly add 3 plus 2, these numbers. And that's 5. So you start at negative 5 and go up to positive 5. And that's just a quick way that you'll always have enough room to fit all of this. So we've got our positive 3 and we're gonna add a negative two. So what we do first is we find zero, and positive is usually right on a number line. Um, it's the convention we follow. So we're gonna start at zero, just above zero, and we're gonna go one, two, three. And where do we end up? We end up at positive three. So that's our positive three. The next step is to go, we had positive three, and now we're gonna add a negative two to it. So adding a negative two, we're gonna start where we ended up. We went three, and then we took two steps backwards. One, two, negative is left. And where did we end up? Positive one. What's our answer? Positive one. So that's how you can use a number line to add integers. We start by drawing one of them, and positive is right. And negative is left. I'm going to show this thing over here. Uh, this is going to be used in our next lessons as well, um, in 2.4 and 2.5, because it has to do with subtracting. Okay, So we've got this here. We've got 3, positive 3, plus negative 2. We notice this part right here, this plus a negative, that's what I'm referring to over here. If you ever have a plus, a positive, it's just as if you've added it. If you have a plus a negative, it's like you've subtracted that number, the variable b. If you have subtract a positive number, that's just like you're going to take away that number. And if you subtract a negative number, it's kind of interesting, it actually means it's plus that number. Um, one way I remember this is this, if we connect it, it looks kind of like a positive sign. Uh, so then we know it's just positive. So let's just look at this. This is the third way. Um, it's kind of the algebraic way. Um, we have positive 3 plus negative 2 plus a negative number plus bracket negative. If we look at plus bracket negative, that's just as if we are subtracting that number. So this would still be positive 3, and we're going to subtract the number. We know this means, well, didn't mean to write an equals there. This means 3 subtract 2, and we know that since kindergarten, 3 subtract 2 is 1, and it's positive. 